Artist to Artist is a reality TV show being produced by the River Art Museum Inc. The museum is a 501c3 tax-deductible organization. The museum hires a production crew to conduct interviews at artist studios. The TV pilot is intended to show an exciting young movie production crew. Their professional and personal lives add drama as they create biographies for the museum. They also attend open studios, art openings, private parties and other events of interest. On unofficial locations, they are obliged to record with smartphone video. Artists choose either a strict documentary interview or the dramatic option. When they select the dramatic option, they are excited to talk behind the scenes. It all began with artist and producer Glenn River interviewing artists in their studios over many years. Gosh, let me get one of you in front of... Uh... Sort of became committed to art, knew that it was going to be uh, an important thing to you relatively early, didn't you? Exactly. Right. It's, uh, it's just I never thought there was any question about it. You know, my, my dad put crayons and paper in front of us when we were five, five years old. And uh, I thought it was normal. And, and I, I may have said that before, but I thought everybody was an artist. The execution is done on faith. You know, I mean, I don't make paintings or drawings with the purpose in mind of selling. This is my studio, and this is me, and, and this is what I'm trying to do, and I'm surrounded by what I've done, for better or worse. I'm working on this one at present. Sort of a return, this is sort of a return to old-fashioned narrative painting. That's a dog going fast, unfinished. I've been working in pastel quite a bit and uh, combining it with, with acrylic and with charcoal drawing and I mean this is an example of that. Let me ask you, uh, how did you get involved in art to begin with? Oh, that's a hard question. <laughs> uh, my mother, my mother played the piano and, and painted. Well, as an amateur, but pretty well. And my father was an amateur photographer. And, so there was an appreciation, you know, in my family as a child. They did not like the idea that I would go on to think of first music and then later photography, and art as a profession that was, that was not their wish for me, or at least certainly not my father's. So this song is for Clark. Yes? I think that I've probably written about almost every emotion that exists. A lot of what I'm trying to write about is from the heart. So. When I'd, I'd pick up the guitar and, you know, and try some lick, it'd be a... You know, something, oh, hey, that sounds great, you know? And I was like however old, 10, 11 years old or something, you know. So I, you know, I'd plug in the microphone, plug it into the reel-to-reel, -reel, and, uh, you know, record the same thing and then listen to it back, you know, and uh, maybe that wasn't so right, try and do it again, and it, it, it really came from, from ideas. I, I didn't write a song for a while. I remember uh, seeing you uh, at a lot of open mics and uh, Never knew about the stage fright. Even back in the 60s and 70s when I did most of my performing, 
people would tell me they couldn't tell that I was scared to death. Uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. <clears throat> even when I went back to it in the 90s. Yeah. The last full song that I completed and play in public is a song called Cycles. I was sad, but then there's also a part in the song about hope. You know, I know there's a rainbow in there somewhere, so it keeps me shining on. Inside me there's a lantern and it's burning. About hope, you know, about looking up to the positive, because these cycles are always going to come back around, you know. It's kind of like the changes in the season. You know, you're gonna have good, and then you're gonna have bad, and then you're just gonna have good again. So, you just gotta keep living through it, you know, flowing through it. And I don't remember when I started. But this is the first phase here. This one with the cast polyester resin spheres in it. This is the first phase here, and I did many, many more of these, but there's only room for two of them in this space. And these are the best anyway. And uh, I cast these and then was suddenly aware of the fact that I could make the colors change three times. When I first began these things, I put them on motors and then I found that people move <laughs> and I didn't need to put the motors in the, in the work because the people move and as they move from one side to another past these at eye level, they turn color. From this area, they're mostly blue, one yellow and one pink. And then if you move over, ex the viewer is exactly in front of them. They're multicolored. They're all different colors. And then when the viewer comes over here, they're mostly pink, but there's one or two that are green. And uh, so I did these for quite some time and felt that it was time to stop using the polyester resin because, as you know, it's toxic. Now that we've seen where the project is going and where it came from, let's support this new generation in its road to discovery. Make a donation and be a part of it. Your donation entitles you to exclusive behind-the-scenes shorts. You are also the first to see new unpublished episodes. Some donors may even participate in an episode shoot as an extra or background player. Join the fun and be able to tell your friends that you helped create this exciting new reality TV show.